towering above the African savannas, with a neck like no other and a tongue as long as your arm. The giraffe is not just the tallest land animal. It's a marvel of evolution and one of nature's most fascinating creatures. But how does it pump blood all the way up that neck? Why doesn't it pass out when it bends down to drink? And how did that neck even get so long? Welcome to Friends of Nature, and today, we're diving into the incredible world of the giraffe. Stick around, what you're about to learn will change how you see this gentle giant forever. Giraffes are the tallest terrestrial animals on Earth. Adult males can reach up to 5.5 meters, 18 feet, tall and weigh over 1,200 kilograms, 2,600 pounds. They're native to Africa, roaming the grasslands, open woodlands, and savannas of countries like Kenya, Tanzania, Botswana, and South Africa. Their name comes from Arabic, Zarafa, meaning fast walker, and yes, giraffes can run up to 60 kilometers per hour, 37 miles per hour. The Legendary Long Neck Let's talk about that incredible neck. Despite its massive length, sometimes over 2.5 meters, 8 feet, a giraffe's neck contains just 7 vertebrae, the same number as humans. Each vertebra is just, much longer, up to 30 centimeters, 12 inches, each. So, why did the giraffe evolve such a long neck? There are two major theories. Feeding advantage, to reach leaves from tall trees, especially acacia trees, that few other animals can access. Necking battles, males engage in brutal fights using their necks like sledgehammers to win mating rights. These duels can look slow motion, but the impact is powerful. It's evolution, with a twist of combat. A high-pressure circulatory system. Now here's something wild. To pump blood from the heart to the brain, nearly 2 meters straight up, the giraffe has evolved an extraordinary cardiovascular system. A massive heart weighing up to 11 kilograms, 25 pounds, beating over 170 times per minute. Tight skin and valves in veins to prevent blood from rushing downward too quickly. A special sponge-like network in the brain called the reedy mirabile, which regulates pressure when the giraffe lowers or lifts its head. It's nature's version of hydraulic engineering. Feeding with a 45 centimeters tongue. Giraffes are strict herbivores, and their favorite meal. The thorny leaves of the acacia tree. But how do they eat something so spiky? Meet the giraffe's prehensile tongue, a muscular, black-colored organ that can reach up to 45 centimeters, 18 inches. It's not just long, it's tough, able to weave between thorns and strip leaves with precision. They can consume up to 30 kilograms, 66 pounds, of foliage per day. Intelligence and Communication While not as vocal as other mammals, giraffes do communicate. Low-frequency infrasound that humans can't hear. Humming at night, possibly to stay in contact while resting. Ear movements, posture, and even tail flicks, yes, it's body language, giraffe style. They also have excellent vision and a panoramic field of view, perfect for spotting predators from afar. Birth and Baby Giraffes A giraffe calf enters the world in a dramatic way, by falling from nearly 2 meters, 6.5 feet, during birth. But within just one hour, that newborn is standing, and even running. Why so fast? Because predators like lions, hyenas, and leopards are always lurking. Mothers are fiercely protective. A single kick from a giraffe can break a lion's jaw, or worse. Predators and survival. Despite their size, giraffes face real danger in the wild. Main predators. Lions, especially hunting in groups. Hyenas. Crocodiles, when giraffes drink from rivers. And humans, through poaching and habitat destruction. But giraffes aren't defenseless. 
Their height gives them a natural lookout advantage, and their kick is one of the most powerful in the animal kingdom. Species and Patterns There are four main species of giraffe recognized today. Northern Giraffe Southern Giraffe Reticulated Giraffe, known for its geometric net-like pattern. Maasai Giraffe, with irregular, leaf-shaped spots. Each giraffe has a unique spot pattern, like a fingerprint. No two are alike. Conservation Status Unfortunately, giraffe populations have declined by 40% in the last 30 years. Habitat loss, illegal hunting, and human conflict are major threats. The giraffe is now listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Some subspecies are even endangered. But conservation efforts are growing. Wildlife reserves, anti-poaching programs, and education campaigns are helping turn the tide. The question is, will it be enough? The giraffe is not just an icon of Africa, it's a living symbol of evolution, balance, and beauty. With every towering step and elegant stride, it reminds us that the natural world still holds wonders we've yet to fully understand. So the next time you see a giraffe, remember. It's not just tall. It's miraculous. If you loved this episode, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more wild adventures on Friends of Nature.